Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is families and communities. And before we get into today's lesson, it is very important for us to sanitize. Remember, boys and girls, when we sanitize, we are showing everyone that we care about what is happening and we are staying safe from the coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. Our lesson today is all about syllables and rhyming words. Our first exercise today is going to be on page 21. On page 21, we are going to be working on syllables. And that is very exciting because we are going to do an activity together. The first thing you need to know about syllables is that they appear when we are breaking down a word. So, the words we have on the board are the ones that we're going to use to break down our syllables. I am going to stand up and I am now going to do it with you. It's an activity that we can do together. The first thing that is going to happen is we're going to just read the word. So let us read the first word that we have here. You can read after me. Hat. Hat. Now, how many syllables are in hat? Let's try and figure out. Hat. Hat. Now the shaker says one. Let's try and think of it again. Hat. Is it correct? Well done. We only have one syllable in the word hat. Now let's try the next word on the board. Let's read it or you can read it after me. Bedroom. Bedroom. Let's see how many syllables we have in the word bedroom. So we have our shaker. And we are going to say the word bedroom. Are you ready? Good. Bedroom. Okay. Let's try again. Bedroom. I want you to be clapping at home so that you can check as well. So take your hands out and let's say it together. Bedroom. Is it correct? How many do we actually have? Let's check again. Bedroom. That sounds like how many syllables, boys and girls? Well done. It is two syllables. But where do we actually cut so that we can have our two syllables? Let's check. 
Let's say it slower this time. Bedroom. So it looks like it is between the word bed and room to make us have how many? Two syllables. So we have the first one here and then we have the second one. So we have bedroom. Are we together? Oh, well done. Now let's try the next one. The next word we have, let's read it together, pencil. Let's read it again, pencil. Well done. So now we want to find out how many syllables do we have in the word pencil. Let's take our hands. You are clapping. I am shaking. <laughs> let's go. Pencil. Is it correct? Let's try again. Pencil. So how many do you think we have there? Yes, well done, grade threes. We have two syllables. Let's see where they come from. Let's say it slower again whilst we're clapping. Let's go. Pencil. So it looks like we have pencil. So I am going to put my line between the N and the C. Very good. And the first syllable is pen. And the second one is so. So we have our two syllables. Well done. Let's try the last one. Let's read it together. Or you can read after me. Walk. Walk. Very good. So how many do we have in the word walk? Let's try you with your hands, me with my shaker. Are we ready? Let's go. Walk. Walk. I think that's very simple. How many syllables do we have in the word walk? Well done, grade threes. It is one. So we don't need to put anything here. Now, let us turn back to our exercise on page 21. Page 21 is asking us to cut and paste the correct number of syllables in the box below. So you have a task with a pair of scissors. That's wonderful. Let's turn back to me and then you can see what I have done. I have already cut my words and I've cut half of my page. I'm going to ask for your help to cut the syllable so that I can paste it in the boxes. Now the word teacher has how many syllables? Let's say it together. Are you ready? You with your hands, me with my shaker. Let's go. Teacher. Hmm. What does that sound like? Let's try again. Let's go. Teacher. Very good. If you said that there are two syllables, you are correct. But where do we cut? That is the question. Let's now do it slower. Teacher. Oh, so I need to cut after between the words a and C for teacher. So I cut between them and then I take my glue for this one, which is actually my boss stick. <laughs> and I'll put my first syllable in the box that says T. Then I am going to take another glue. <laughs> And put it in the next box where it says chur, teacher. So we have two syllables, teacher. Well done. Let's do the next one together. I have cut out my word classroom, classroom. Now the word classroom, 
We want to find out how many syllables. So you take out your hands and me with my shaker. And we're going to find out how many syllables. Let's go. Classroom. Okay. Let's see if it's classroom or classmate. It is classmate. So let's try again. Classmate. Hmm. How many syllables did you hear that time? I heard two. What did you hear? Okay, let's try again. Classmate. Well done. It is two. But where do we cut? That is the question. So let's take it slow this time. Let's go. Classmate. Wow, it seems like we are going to cut between the S and the M. So I'm going to cut. There we go. And I'll put my first syllable in the first box. So we have class in the first box. And then we are going to have mate in the second box so that we can have the word classmate. Very good, everyone. Are we still together? Wonderful. So this is what your exercise was supposed to look like. Now remember, take your time, use your hands to clap out the syllables and if you're not sure, it's okay to ask for help. I will see you soon, right after this commercial break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list. For the attention of pre-primary schools, topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Let's now take a look at our next exercise on page 23. On page 23, we will be talking about rhyming words. Now, rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. So it can be two words that sound the same at the end. They may not mean the same thing, but they definitely sound similar. So your job is to circle the word on each row that rhymes with the word on the left. In this case, the blue box words. And we are going to try the first three together. Let's take a look at the blue word. It says, let's read it together. Traded. Traded. Now we need to find a word that rhymes with the word traded. Is it foot? Or behind? Or skated? Is it foot? Behind or skated? If you said the word skated, well done! You are so smart. So the word traded rhymes with the word skated. You can see that it has a very similar ending. May you please circle the word skated. Well done, grade threes. Let's now move on to the next one. The next one in the blue box or on the left is great. Great. Let's see which word rhymes with great. Is it life? Is it plate or is it wonder? 
We can also say the word again and compare it with the other word just to be sure. Is it great life? Is it great plate? Or is it great wonder? Well done! If you said great rhymes with plate, you are correct. Well done, boys and girls. I'd like you to please circle that word. Let's now move to the next word on the left or in the blue column. The word is bear. Can you see the bear in your booklet? Oh, wow. He looks like a hungry bear. No wonder he's eating a strawberry. <laughs> So now we need to find out if the word bear matches with any of those three words. Let's test them. Remember, we can use the word bear and then the word we are trying to rhyme it with so that we can double check. Let us go. Bear, share. Okay, maybe. How about bear square? Oh, maybe. How about bear perfect? Okay, remember rhyming words can be two or more. So we are lucky that we have two words that rhyme with bear. We have bear share. So we can circle the word share. And then we have bear square. So we can also circle the word square. Now the rest you are going to do by yourselves. Remember, it is very important for you to take your time when you are reading. And if you don't know how to pronounce the words, it's okay to ask for help from a parent, adult, or your teacher. We'll be back after this very short commercial break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook, Active Kids, to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson. Remember, when we are rhyming, we need to listen for the words that actually rhyme. Now that we are at the end of our lesson, it is always important, boys and girls, for us to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing means that we are responsible boys and girls and that we are staying safe from coronavirus. Make sure that they are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. I wonder though, where did we leave our little friend? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Hello, Sashi. So from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.